Hi everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Now, what I am doing is, I have no idea. <laughs> I am going to try and do my face of makeup while I chit chat. What I'm going to chit chat about, I haven't got a clue yet. <laughs> it's just going to come out when it comes out. So let's get started. I've done all the primers and moisturizers and I've done almost all my brows. So we shall start with, I'm using my project pan, so nothing extra special today except for the palette I'm using, which I'll show you in a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my life together. I, When I do this, because I've don't do it very often. I can't get my head wrapped around everything so I'm not completely organized and it's driving me crazy. I spent 10 minutes trying to figure out what I'm doing <laughs> here, how I had everything set up and it's a disaster. Um, but I'm on my bed which I like doing. Now the reason I wanted to do this today was because yesterday I did a video on my camera yeah which means I had to put it on my computer yeah which also means that I had to figure out some editing yeah so <laughs> I'm still working on it <laughs> um, well I did some editing little bit and uh, from that point with the editing I tried to get it to post it on YouTube through the computer <sighs> I'm still working on that part so if you see me go down here stop every now and then that's because I'm making sure that the screensaver doesn't kick on now Yesterday, I did about three hours of working on that. Now, if I knew what I was doing, it probably wouldn't have taken me more than an hour, if that. But I had to stop, Google on YouTube, you know, it was, and essentially, it hurt. It, it physically hurt my body and my brain. I got another migraine. So I had to stop. At one point I did like three hours and I was really, really pushing it. But I am determined to get my brain back. Like Learning software used to come so easily to me. It was one of those things that I was good at to the point where one of the jobs I had, the boss had me learn how to use CAD. Like seriously, I had to make floor plans. So, having gotten sick and between the pain and the meds, not having my brain work properly is an absolute frustration like you would not believe. It's like, it's beyond, beyond frustrating. Um, that is the one thing other than the actual pain that pisses me off. Sorry, YouTube, if that's a bad word, but it really, really does. Like when I get to that point, I am ready to hit punch the walls. I, of course I don't, <laughs> but you know, that's, that's one thing that would get me to that point. So I had to put it aside and then just, I think I got to sleep around midnight because I just couldn't get it out of my head. And that is with sleeping pills. So, about an hour ago, I took it back up again, watched a couple more videos, and I've got something going right now, and uh, hopefully that will work. It says 11%. <laughs> it's unfortunately a 23-minute video, but it was nice. It was I, I enjoyed what, like, I'm hoping to be able to post it today so maybe I'll post two videos today that'll be a bonus video but what I did yesterday I really enjoyed doing that it's 
it was nice. It was really nice. And I hope you guys will watch it. So today I'm talking to you about it. <laughs> now the concealer. Like look at look at how down this concealer's gotten. <laughs> but uh I the only thing I have changed in my project pan since my last update is the uh I'll call it the 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 primer mix that I use with my foundation to thin it out a little bit. That's the only thing that's changed because my, my Tarte base tape is done. So, it's like, it's going slow, which is good because that means you get value for money, but it's going slow and I can't put other products in fast enough. <laughs> I have also discovered that so far, and yes, I do have some more brow products to test because a lot of them came from BoxyCharm but I have found that my brow power so far is my favorite one and it lasts like all the others I've tried up until this one three weeks a month tops and I should have written down the dates I put I changed stuff maybe I should start doing that but Ever since I changed the last time to Brow Power, I have over half of it left. Like, I mean, there's a lot left. So I'm at least another month, month and a half using it, if not three. Yes, that means I can't finish the other one sooner, but it means that when... I, if, when and if I want to repurchase the brow power, I will get my money's worth out of it. So, whoops, it's going to be one of those double-edged things there. Because it's not cheap. It's not a cheap product by any means. But it's good. I like it. Oh, good grief. <laughs> what else did I want to talk about? I really don't know. Where did my... Can somebody help me? <laughs> I need help! <laughs> um, I used another uh, ColourPop palette yesterday. I wasn't as impressed with it as the previous one that I used. Th th that's taupe. But that's okay. Um, I'm using another one today. I'll, soon enough. I'll show you soon. Yes, I'm delaying because I wanted the uh, concealer to sit a little bit. But we'll see how that one goes. Um, what else? This foundation that I'm using, the Age Perfect Age Rewind, yeah, it's okay. It's a little dark. I'm finding it a little dark, but, and that is with something that lightens it a teeny tiny bit. Even though it's not a lightener, it does lighten a little bit because it's paler, but um, I have to use it up. It's that simple. It's, it's got to get used. I have it. I don't want to waste it. It wasn't that much money, but 20 bucks. But I have to use it, point blank. No more wasting. And and I can't give it to my daughter because her skin is paler. Like, I mean, <laughs> I had given her my extra um, one from Too Faced. And she's like, since when did you think my skin was that dark? <laughs> I thought you had my skin tone. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> So yeah, I can't give I can't give her my my um, foundations because they're too dark for her, and the other two girls are paler than she is. So there you go for that. Ah, oh, good grief! I've got a little bit of sun trying to shine through the curtains, and I don't like that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, there was a nice lady 
when I did my last video of the ColourPop haul, I had mentioned ColourPop Anonymous. And she mentioned Makeup Anonymous. I think today or tomorrow, I will be doing a Facebook page for Makeup Anonymous. What do you guys think? Do you guys think you'd be joining that? Because I think we'd have fun talking about makeup and how much we have and how we have to use it and all that wonderful makeup conversation. I think we'd have a blast. So let me know what you think. But I think it would be a great idea. But what do I know? <laughs> now, I've, I'm using powder now. Look at this. <laughs> I don't think I've had this in here for a month yet. And I barely use any because, like, I mean, one tiny swipe, not even the whole length of it for my eye. Because if I don't do this, I find that my concealer disappears. And then all you see is lines and, and black eyes. So, and it's the same with the rest of the face. So I just do a tiny, tiny bit. I barely touch it. It's not like I'm going in there like this and... No. Tap, tap, tap. Done, done, done. Be and it, so that means it doesn't have a whole lot of product. I just realized I should have turned on my floodlight on this side because I don't see very well. Yeah. And yesterday I used powders. So today... I will use creams. Okay, so this is done as well. And here we go. This, I love this one. I really do. But I haven't had the chance to use things like Honest Beauty, like Fenty. So right now it's my Kosas in Melon. I did order another one. For, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to do this first which is the bronzer. I did order another color from the Boxy Pop-Up. So we'll see how that color goes. But I'm finding that I don't like pinks on my cheeks very much. I like the, not even corals, because corals have too much red in them, but oranges. And I don't know if oranges go with all eye colors. So... I'm kind of torn and uh, I always wonder, like I was watching the video back yesterday and I'm like, that's a lot of cheek makeup I've got. Like I see it right now. I've barely touched my face and it looks like a lot of bronzer. And I go into the bathroom and I've got the overhead lights. And it doesn't look like that much. Like this side looks like more than this side. Hmm. So I don't know. I'm still... I'm still in learning mode. I really am. Now there's one little thing that I learned from Jacqueline, Jacqueline Forbes? I think that's her name, yes. And that's... To put contour under the lip and it looks like an overline without an overline. And I I love it. I love it. She's brilliant. She is absolutely brilliant. And I know probably everybody else knows how to do this trick, but I just learned it a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> and that's why... I'm on YouTube day in and day out. Like, I wake up, YouTube comes on. The last thing I'm watching at night is YouTube before I go to sleep. It's... I learn something at least every five videos. So that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Look at this. This is getting there. I don't even know what date today is. And then 
which means that very soon, but I, I, I know like probably the 25th or 26th, I have no idea. One day is like another for me, but uh, it means that I'm going to have to start weighing everything very soon. Okay, let's go. I'm not smiling because my cheeks droop enough as it is. So if I go like this, it's going to go. <laughs> and no. See, I'm learning. <laughs> and then I'm no longer putting my bronzer below my little ear doodad. So hopefully that helps as well. The other thing I have to do is figure out how to mirror my uh, camera to my tablet or my computer. So that's another thing I got to figure out. And um, I think it's going to have to be a cable, but then I got to figure out which cable, which is not a problem. It's just got to figure out which one it's to be. I'm going to have to do that after. And then, of course, we've got the... That wasn't smart. Highlighter. I think this video is going to be a little bit longer. Ooh, that's a lot of highlighter. I think this video is going to be a little bit longer than yesterday's because yesterday's I didn't stop every 10 seconds to babble my heart out. <laughs> oh, good grief. Now, what was I thinking? I was thinking, actually, of doing the 21 Questions of Beauty from Allie Glines, I believe. I watched Samantha March do it, and she's the one who... I wrote down all the questions. I just need to write down answers. <laughs> that's, the, that's the where I'm lazy part. <laughs> but yeah, I'm th thinking of doing that. Let me know what you guys think about it. Would you be interested in hearing my version? of the answers to the 21 questions of beauty. Uh, what else? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is not the greatest. It's really not, but I need to use it. I'm about here. And I got... My husband bought me one from... What was it? Um... Amazon and the because I had put it in the 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 basket and it's the L'Oreal glow one the bottle is like this small <laughs> it's like what this is almost done there we go so yeah I was really disappointed in that I would love, 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 love to get the Charlotte Tilbury one because everybody rants and raves about it. Same with the all-nighter, but they're $40. Are you kidding me? I go through a bottle a month. That's, that's insane. That is insane. It's like $40 a month is a prescription. So I'm still looking for more economical options. The... Catrice ones are about $10, but the bottles are minuscule. Like, the $40 bottles probably could last me two months if I didn't go overboard, but the Catrice ones, no. It's like I would not go overboard and they, wouldn't la they would last a month, no more than that. But $10 a month is better than $40 a month. And with my basket from uh, ColourPop that I'm filling up for my next order, June or July. <laughs> Every time I go look for their um, setting spray, they're out. <laughs> Obviously, it's a good setting spray. Okay, here we go. I'm going all mad today. I'm scared. <laughs> I am scared. But look at how beautiful the colors are. 
So I'm going to start with this one. I have found, I have found that if I do not set my um, primer, I have a hard time putting eyeshadow on. It just, it's, it sticks. And then it doesn't blend well because, well, I'm not very good at it. So it doesn't. So if I don't have a color in my palette, I'm glad I have this in my, uh, <laughs> good grief words. <laughs> I am definitely glad I have this in my project pan. It might have gone down in weight too because I had to use it a fair few times. Okay, what I'm going to do next is... I have no idea. I'm going to try this one. Yeah, see, this is the first time I use this. Okay, right, let's go. Let's go to the show. I would like you, everybody who's watching this to let me know if they've had experience with ColourPop and how you feel about them. One lady told me she wasn't that impressed with the Super Shocks in the palettes. And from yesterday's, I have to agree, and the day before as well, I had trouble putting it on. I haven't tried my single Super Shocks yet. So I'm wondering if they react the same. And uh, if it wasn't bad for my skin, I would probably do my makeup twice a day, <laughs> wash and everything. But it gets to be too harsh on the skin if you do that too often. So, no. Oh, it's a nice color. It is a really nice color. Now, what should I do next? I am wearing burgundy, so I think I'm going to try this one. Except I'm going to change brush and go with the 776 blending brush. Okay, let us try this. And a hair, which is odd because I don't have any animals. Let's see. Darker colors always scare me because every time I use them, I have trouble blending them out. They just don't, either, either that or I've just not used the right colors. Or I mean the right palettes which is highly likely because I don't have the very good palettes. Okay, let's try the other side. Now, has anybody ever finished a ColourPop palette? I'm just curious to know how long they last. Like approximately, do they last like 100 uses, 20 uses? Because that would tell me how much value there is in a ColourPop palette. Yeah, I wanted to go out in an angle like that. That's how I used to do my makeup. And that's how it used to be done in the 80s. <laughs> Which is where all of the lack of makeup knowledge that I have comes from. And uh, sort of kind of followed me even though it wasn't the thing to do. But that's okay, because it seems to be coming back. Okay. Let's try and blend. And I know that's a thing I don't do enough of. I don't blend enough. I know that. I don't have the patience for it. I really don't. <laughs> Now, what should I do? I'm trying 
trying to figure out if I should put some brown in here or just let's try this It's only makeup, right? <laughs> oh. What do you guys think? I like that. I do like that. Just a little bit. But no glitter. This is strictly matte. This is nice. Yeah, I'm getting more comfortable with mattes and I wish I could get my hands on the Safari palette. I don't care how used it is. I can't seem to be able to use my Poshmark Canada anymore. They said something like I have to re get a new account. It's like, okay, you don't want my money, fine even though I was on the Canadian site. Does it make sense to anybody? Because it certainly doesn't make sense to me. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the burgundy. And let's do this. But even then, on the Canadian site, I haven't seen anybody with the Safari palette from Natasha Denona. Oh, there's probably a few people in the States who have it, but I can't get it from the States because Poshmark sucks that way. <laughs> I guess, like, I mean, the last thing I got from Poshmark less than a month ago was the Tati Beauty palette, so it makes no sense for my, my Poshmark account to no longer work. It really doesn't. And I guess they just don't care about fixing it. They just say, you do, you do it. So, I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace. Sorry, Poshmark. If you're not even going to try a little bit to help me out, I'm not going to help you out. Uh, do I have a brown here? Yes, I do. I have a It Cosmetics Brown Liner. Let us see if I can put it in my waterline. Or at the very least, on my lashes. If you guys have made it this far, you guys are so patient and I love you for it. I really do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can do this. I forgot about my computer. And of course, every time you go back on with Apple, you have to always, always, always log back in. And that is a pain in the tuckus. That's why my Microsoft-based computer on my desk does not have a log on. You just click. Plus, if my husband wants to use it, he, he would not remember. <laughs> um, why don't I take more of your time? I'm going to do that. I'm going to take more of your time. Because I'm going to try and do a little bit of a flick. I've been doing this a little bit more lately. Yeah, and that's what I do every time too. But I cannot do this with liquid liner at all. At all. Okay. 
and the right one always gives me trouble. Is it because I'm right-handed? Or is it because I'm a doofus? I have no idea. Look at that. Maybe I did a little bit too high. I don't care. I like it. One more little attempt and then I'll give up on camera at least <laughs> yeah alrighty then now my little lashes yeah I'm liking this mascara I find it does clump but if I go slower which is difficult because yet again lack of patience It doesn't clump as badly. But man, oh man, I wish I could just go boom, 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 done, boom, 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 done. And the fact that I have to do two coats makes it so difficult. Generation X, I like things instant. I'm the click button generation. Grew up with the clicker for the TV. Came out when I was itty bitty. I remember I was eight years old. Eight years old, my parents got a Zenith TV that had the built-in clicker. <laughs> it was so cool. Yeah, we're going back in time. <laughs> eight years old would have been 75. 1975. That's like a lifetime ago. So much has happened tech-wise since then that it's, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. I used to be the remote control. I, I used to be, that's the kids of my generation, the Gen Xers, we used to be the remote control. We used to be the secretary because we would run to get the phone the door we were also the latchkey kids because the parents wouldn't get home till after work about if they finished at five chances are they did we'd be home from school and it was normal it wasn't like today where it's like what do you mean you left your 11 year old kid home alone no nope. I was eight years old taking the city bus by myself and when I was eight I would God, when I was 10, I was still wearing size 6X clothes. <laughs> life, that is very much what life was like back then. I am going to use my appeal, I can't see the color, lip liner. That's the only thing I, I don't like about when you do your lips, you can't talk. But I figured out if I want to use my lip liners, I have to use them as lipstick. I'm not going out today, so no mask for me. And I don't, I'm not a fan of glosses. I'm just not, because you have to keep putting them on and on and on and on and on. And I could have sworn I took one out. <clears throat> I did, because it's not there. I might be sitting on it. <laughs> it's not going to take this one. <laughs> and I'm just going to. moisturize the lips a little bit. The Appeal Lip Liner is actually very creamy and I haven't found it drying at all. I just find that it doesn't last long. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad a mix. 
This wasn't the color I was originally going to wear, but there you go. There we go. <laughs> you guys are so patient. 35 minutes in and you're still here with me. Thank you so very much. Please leave me a comment. Like my video. Let me know what you think. And let me know if I should let you guys know if I do the Facebook page. And definitely please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification. A bientôt.